MTD CNC are at SPE Limited today. I'm with Phil Smith, who's the managing director. We're here specifically to talk to Phil about Industry 4.0, uh, something that the company is just about to embrace. Phil, uh, you've recently purchased the, I believe it's the iSmart, isn't it, from Mazak for Industry 4. What's he going to do for your company? One of the key measures we are looking at and have been for a while is something called OEE, which is the overall equipment effectiveness. Uh, we've been measuring it by taking um, manual uh, records via timesheets, etc. Uh, and what's, what's important to us is that we get a system which can report it effectively. Uh, that allows us then to make considered decisions on what machines we run, um, what jobs we're making uh, a decent margin on, etc. Because when I look at your factory now as a machine shop and, and a company from the outside looking in, you seem pretty efficient anyway with the way you're doing things, probably yeah. more efficient than most. Just give us a very quick overview of how you do currently do uh, measure your efficiency and then we can look at how you're going to improve that. I appreciate the feedback first of all. Um, I think we're, we're efficient because we measure it and you have to start somewhere. I think, um, like I say, we, we measure OEE monthly, it's one of our KPIs. So it's all about getting the correct information and accurate information. Um, and how, how is that process done now, before iSmart? Sorry, yeah, at the moment we, we take, um, everybody fills in a timesheet. So in 15 minute blocks they record whether the machine's running or not. If it's not running there's a code for the reason it's not running. For example, it might be broken down, it might be being set up, uh, or it might be being programmed. And then do you analyse this information that you're currently taking and try to make improvements uh, in the factory? Yes, we do. Obviously, the simple one to look at is if you've got a lot of downtime due to breakdowns and you've got a maintenance issue. OK, now, so when, when you get iSmart uh, work in here, is it going to just be for the Mazak machines? Because you've got various brands of machine tools here in your factory. Are you going to be able to measure everything? Yes, we are. It's going to be for all the, the production CNC equipment. And what sort of information is it going to spit out uh, into some kind of central database or cent central area? Yeah, we're, we're really going to be concentrating to begin with on the OEE uh, measurement, but it can also be used for uh, analysing tooling. Say if you've got um, a complex job with a, uh, a suite of tools, you can look at the performance of those tools. So maybe we'll get into that into the future. So that's quite interesting. It doesn't tie you down to one brand. You, you can roll it out. Older machines, new machines from other companies, it, it can do everybody's. Yeah, we're going to use it for all of our machines. Um, the £3,500 for the software covers a 10 user licence or 10 machine licence, so we'll go beyond that. But yeah, we'll use it for everything. So what's the ultimate aim for you then? I mean, what, what do you want to do? Is this a way of you telling your customers or giving them more traceability or more visibility on what you're up to? Is that, is that an important part as well? Can they dial in? Yeah, definitely. That's what we want to use it for in the future. Um, a lot of our uh, customers uh, have portals which we can log on to to see the work schedule and things like that. And we want to flip it around and give them the same kind of visibility. So the idea, if we've got a cell working on a schedule of parts, they can log on to our system and see where the parts are in the schedule. And you mentioned tooling as well earlier. Some of the things we've learned about Industry 4 is it's, it's, it's about optimization, isn't it? It's about getting the best out of the machine, looking at uh, whether you're yeah, what forces are being applied to the spindle, uh, what the tool wear rates is. This covers yeah. all that as well. It does, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you can look at all kinds of tooling applications. And, and for you as a business, this, like I said already, looking from the outside looking in, you, some might say, well, why do you need to do this? You're successful. Um, you, you invest a lot. You've got great equipment. You, you look like you've got a good team. Uh, is this a necessity for you or is it just something that you're, you're going to you know, bring into the company as a nicety? Absolutely, no. I mean... With the things you've just mentioned, tooling, machine tools, um, salary costs, it, there's a cost for everything. And it's about getting the right information to manage those costs.